last time I talked a little too much about politics. This time I'm going to focus on entertainment news and tech news. And I'm going to talk about new Oz movies, the new Sherlock Holmes movie teaser, and facial recognition. So this week, Blaster.com had an article on a slew of new movies coming out based on The Wizard of Oz. But these are concepts, stories, and scripts that are being considered by major production companies. Now the main one that is set to come out is from Disney, and it's kind of a prequel that follows a carnival barker who discovers the magical land of Oz and gets mistaken for a wizard. So it kind of tells the story of how the wizard became the wizard. I find that pretty interesting, but it has James Franco playing the wizard, it has Zach Braff as his assistant. The main selling point for me is that it's directed by Sam Raimi, director of Spider-Man, Evil Dead, such films. They've got CGI cartoons coming out that look fantastic. Even stop motion, this kind of darker stop motion, I think it's called Oz Wars. And they're definitely going to do Wicked, as it's been on Broadway since 2003 and has been steadily selling out. There are too many out there in consideration to talk about them. I'll read the article. It's linked in the doobly. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the new little teaser trailer for Sherlock Holmes 2. If Guy Ritchie, the director, can pull more from his lock, stock, and two smoking barrels repertoire. I think this one could be better than the first one. Here's me goosh bumps. Yes, I love technology, but not as much as you use. Tech news today, there is a new app developed by Microsoft interns that takes facial recognition to a new level. It relies on Android smartphone sensors and draws extensive information from the internet. The app is called TagSense, and it's not out there for commercial use yet. It's still in research and production. I don't know how you feel about facial recognition software, but to me, it's pretty cool, but very creepy, but pretty cool. I mean, this app instantly dissects an image, derives the person's name, what they're doing, their facial expression, and where they are, all based on information they already have on the interwebs. This facial recognition technology is already making its way into, well, Facebook. Now when you upload all your pictures, the software is already there that automatically finds their face and puts a little information about each picture without you having to do anything. Automatic tagging. In one sense, it'll make tagging, sharing, information gathering so much quicker and so much more efficient. But by the same token, here comes the creepiness. Pedophiles and creepers get a hold of this information. Nice. Think about this. Advertisers get a hold of this technology. Here comes the creepiness. All of a sudden, all these smart ads specifically targeted towards you get a little bit more annoying and a lot more intrusive. Creepiness. For that, so that does it for important news highlights that came up this week. Don't forget to hit like if you liked this video and if you didn't here comes the creepiness then I suggest you bookmark this video show it to all your friends start a huge flame out war in my comment section anyways folks have a wonderful day and keep up the good work